Okay, good evening to you all. Today is our the 29 of this three months later. Like I said, this is coming like for about three months, and today is our the 29, and it's the beginning of our week. So I already sent the uh schedule of activity for the week. I know each and every one of you uh saw it in the group. So that's what we are going to cover for the week. So, like always, we start by showing our uh, uh, activities for the day, outlines, what we are to cover. Today, we have only one outline. That is, we are going to talk about uh, a recap on what we discussed uh, on the 27th, that is on Saturday, last Saturday. Then we'll talk about remove duplicate. That's what all what we are going to discuss for today. Please, uh if you can recall what we did yesterday, uh, uh, day before yesterday, that is on um, Saturday on the 27th, we discussed about rand and rand between. I already told you what rand and rand between did, and I show you uh, a lot of things what you can do. And I even told you that in the coming uh, weeks or uh, lectures, uh, we are going to treat more complex things related to rand between. So that's why I even give you a, a, in your week five assignment, if you can, week four assignment, if you can check, you see there is something that has to do with rand between, and you must know how to work with it in order for you to get the answer to that particular question. It's very, very simple to do. So um, uh, today we are going to talk about uh, remove duplicate. That's our uh, topic for today. That's our topic for today. I think um, this remove duplicate is something that you need to learn. You need to understand. Okay, sorry, please. Let me turn. Let me put the. Yeah. I'm working. There is noise. My I have a background noise. The television is on, so I have to mute it. Even though I used to look at what they are doing sometimes okay so can you hear me please yes sir, yes, sir. yeah like i said like i said uh remove duplicate is something that you need to focus on you need to learn because it will come in handy whenever you are working you need to learn how to remove duplicates because duplicates has to do with multiple entries in your data it has to do with multiple entries in your data and as a data analyst, you can't analyze repetitive data. There is no way you can analyze data that is in repetition uh, format because, uh, uh, for example, like me, Ahmed Amino Ahmed, Ahmed Amino Ahmed, you are analyzing the same Ahmed Amino Ahmed. So you see, you, 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 there is no way you can have accurate analysis based on the what duplicate uh, data. Don't worry, we'll talk about the sources of data, good data, bad data, we'll all talk about that because you need to have the spirit of, even if you come across a data by looking at that data, is it a good data? Because there are certain criteria for you to even tell a data is a good data or bad data. So a bad data, there is no way you can work with bad data as a data analyst, even if it was given to you. You will tell them that this is a very bad data, you need to go and get a good data for me to analyze. Even though, even the good data has some uh, lacunas and loopholes in it, but don't worry about that. In as much as you know how to treat such, you can work with that and you can kind of clean it and make it as good as you want it before you analyze it. So this removing of duplicate is something that you need to learn and you need to know how to work with it. Let me tell you this. Removing duplicate is so tricky. To the extent that if you don't know how to remove duplicate, you didn't learn it the way you're supposed to learn it, you will be end up deleting data that is potential to you, which is not duplicate. Take note from today. If you are removing a duplicate, if I found a duplicate under column A, if I remove that column, everything that I'm removing that is duplicate is taking away the entire row of the data. So by default, if I found the duplicate in column A, then it's at that column what? Column B, C, D, E, up till column Z, it attacks them because it's going to get rid of them. That way, if you can recall when we did about, when we talk about that um, finding blank, 
and others i've told you once you find a blank data by default it affects the entire row because you are going to delete it entirely i've already told you that so even removing duplicate has that but take note uh sometimes when you are removing it you need to understand that what you are removing is it the only unique thing in the data that makes the data to be duplicate you need to ask yourself that question is it the only thing because there are certain things that you cannot remove duplicate in them for example you can't remove duplicate under full name no way you can remove duplicate under full name why because ahmed i mean ahmed can be 30 ahmed i mean ahmed within a state if you remove duplicate under full name then definitely you get rid of 29 ahmed i mean ahmed so you see it's something else but let's talk about id or admission number you can remove duplicate under admission number why because nobody can have the same admission number with somebody we can remove duplicate under for example phone number because nobody can have the same phone number with somebody even though take note i will talk about this because when you are working with real data you need to take very very careful you need to be very very careful in removing duplicate you need to be very careful in removing duplicates because under full name take note when you are working with data especially data from people that are from rural areas the household the head of household his phone number is going to be the number of his four wives is going to be the number of maybe maybe 13 of his children all of them they don't have phone number so if you remove duplicate under phone number be be very careful when to remove no when to remove duplicate under phone number please take note on this i have to tell you this and also under let's say uh okay let's say under bvn number vvn number bvn number is unique so when you are when you remove duplicate under it then definitely is duplicate so you can also remove duplicate under account number no way account number can tally even though sometimes i don't know i never see this uh, kind of situation in my life i never for us to have uh you know uh, uh, uh maybe the same account number but different banks i don't know if we can have that sometimes please do we have do we do we have, do you ever come across this if you did please just no, sir, it's, not it's, not it's, not it's, it's not possible it's not possible it's not even possible right that's great no, so, so 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 definitely you can remove duplicate on the on the what on the uh, uh you know account mm -hmm. number or something yeah, you can do that and also um you can't remove duplicate on the address don't try that please <laughs> don't ever try that can't remove it on the address and also um so so you need to know what is unique in the data what are the unique uh, variables within the data that's where you remove duplicate please take note on that that's where you remove what duplicate and sometimes take note on this sometimes duplicate for you to remove a duplicate sometimes you need to combine you need to combine columns in order for you to remove duplicates for example you want uh males let's say um okay let me say something you want to compare the phone number for example i want to trace ahmed amino ahmed from zamfara state i don't want it to be duplicate for example, if I have any Ahmed Amin Ahmed, for example, in Kanu is okay. Maybe Ahmed Amin Ahmed in Katrina is okay. But I don't want Ahmed Amin Ahmed in Zampara. Two of Ahmed Amin Ahmed from Zampara to be twice. So, for example, I'm going to combine the column of full name and what? State. So, if the column of full name and state contain the same data, then that's what make it to be what? duplicate the condition now is true definitely to remove one and leave one and the condition can be more than two it can be more than two we can put ahmed amino ahmed with account number from gt bank for example so definitely is going to be duplicate of maybe four four variables we we compared full name we compared states we compared account number we compared bank name so in that case 
each and every one of these that is different from the other, then it didn't tell you it's not a duplicate. At least you understand this. So uh, this yes, is sir. something that this is something that you need to uh, pay attention to. You need to uh, kind of focus on it, and you need to understand how to uh, 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 work uh, with it. So um, uh, yeah, I'm not visual. I didn't. I'm not visualizing anything. I'm just explaining. So please listen and just think. Uh, uh, this is the class for today. For me to do as real, this is the class. Just listen to what we are saying. Yeah, some of you are even trying are raising hand. You just some of you came in, they are raising hand, this and that. I, I am seeing you, all of you. Just listen. I'm not showing anything. Today we, this is the, the screen that you are seeing. This is the only screen we shown our outlines. And that you say you are not seeing the screen. This is the screen. I'm not showing anything else. That's the screen. So uh please do you understand this explanation. This is a theoretical aspect of duplicate. You need to understand this very well. Because once you fail to understand this, you will kind of be uh, uh, you you will you will be removing potential data, thinking is duplicate while the data is not duplicate. Because I found a lot of cases where people are removing duplicate where they don't need to remove duplicate or where they they shouldn't remove duplicate from. Yeah, where they should not remove duplicate from. Somebody is removing duplicate within states. If you are removing duplicate from state, you are missing the data. You are removing duplicate from full name. You are messing up the data. You are removing duplicate from, uh, you know, uh, address. You are messing up the data. You are removing duplicate. There are certain things that you cannot remove duplicate from them. Or you are removing duplicate from gender. You can never remove duplicate from that. But there are unique things that you can remove duplicate from them. You can, or you can compare two or more variables to remove duplicate based on the condition that such variables will field. And I warn you, like I said, I warn you in removing duplicate using phone number. Be very, very careful in that because sometimes I told you there is every tendency that the head of the household, his number was used on all the dependents on him. That is his four wives, Maybe it's 10 children or 20 and everything uses number. So you need to be very careful on that because their data is potential data. If you remove the duplicate, you get rid of more than 20 people without knowing that there is difference between them. So please take note on this. So let me just uh, share my uh, Excel so that we can get started and show and do some uh, works on that. Okay. Okay, so uh, you should take note that um, in uh, removing, while removing duplicate, duplicate, removing duplicate is part of data cleaning. So we did a lot about data cleaning. If you can recall, we talked about a lot about that. So uh, you don't need to put data in a table before you remove duplicate. That's number one thing. But there is something you need to take note on. Your data must have a column. There must be a header for your data. There must be a header. So if there is no header, for example, if I remove this, if I remove this, for example, if you go to remove duplicate, it's going to give you this. You see, it just gives you this. So there is no way you know, okay, which one is which one. There is no way you can know that. So it, it, it must have, have a what? A header. So you have a header which this is a variable of ID, this is a, a name, this is a, this, this is this, so it must have a, uh, you know, the header of it. So, um, like I said, you need to take note on what is your unique ID in the data, what is unique within the data. So by default, we have ID here, and this ID is what is unique about this data. But like I told you, which data is it? Sometimes this ID, this ID can repeat itself within the data and the entire data is different. Please, you should take note on that. So there is something sometimes that differentiate the data. Even though the ID is, is the same, there is also something that differentiate the data. For example, if it's a cell data, definitely the same customer can come back and purchase the same thing. 
So there is every tendency to find the same name of the customer or the same ID of the customer to appear twice. So you should all take note because this that why I take I, I take my time to explain a lot about this remove duplicate. That's why we are going to treat it only for today. Because it's a very, very tricky something. You have to use your number five to uh, solve the problem of this du remove duplicate. Don't just go, it's not a blank check. I saw a lot of people using remove duplicate and deleting potential data without knowing. So I will show you this now. Let me remove duplicate based on the ID. And I will show you something in this data that differs from that. So let me do something. So I'm on selecting anything. I'm removing duplicate from the ID alone. If I click OK, you see, I remove 46 duplicates. 46 duplicate from the ID. That means we have 46 duplicates here that has the same ID and we remove them. So let me bring back the 46. I'll just click Control Z and remove back the 46 duplicate. So now, if we come back again, I'm going to compare this ID, this 46 ID, I'm going to compare them with the price column. So I'm going to say ID and price. I'm going to click on price. Let's see how many do we have. You see, based on the ID and the price of the purchase, we don't have any duplicate. What is this telling us? It's telling us that this ID that we have duplicate of them, they are repetitive customers in a particular shop. So the service rendered to them is twice, not only one. So that means... If they come and pay, for example, $193 or $96, maybe next service they pay $200. So the data differs. The data differs. So definitely it's not a duplicate in this case. Because the price differs, ID is the same, definitely the data is not duplicate. For us to remove a data that is duplicate, the entire columns and the entire rows must be what? Must be the same in some data in some data because there are certain data that some people use to trick you if it has to do with account number you will put his same same name same state of origin same gender but you will change change bank and account number so the bank and account number will be the same will be different maybe he has gt bank he has uh, uh, uh for example maybe jis bank or he has polaris bank he put different account numbers but it's the same person so in that case, in that case, you need to find something that you will compare it with another variable for you to remove them as duplicate. Maybe it can be his full name, state, uh, maybe unqualification. You, you, you need to add three because there is no way, for example, it will be very difficult for you to have somebody with the same name, with the same, uh, you know, state of origin, maybe the same LGA, the same uh, qualification, maybe the same CGPA, for example. So it's very difficult to combine different variables for you to remove a duplicate based on to, uh, for it to be the same data in that particular uh, thing. That's why uh, when we when we are to talk about uh, data collection, we'll come to talk about that because there is a week that we'll focus on. How are you even going to collect data? As a data analyst, you need to understand what are the types of data you are collecting. Because the data you are collecting is what will help you in determining the kind of work you are going to do in cleaning the data and in making a potential analysis. So there are ways of collecting a data that will help you to find uniqueness about a particular person. That will help you to find uniqueness from a particular person. So we'll talk about that issue of uh, you know, what to collect, what you don't need, because there are certain information we are collecting in data, we have nothing to do with it. All the type of analysis we are going to do has nothing to do with that particular variable that we are collecting. So you need to understand that as you as a data analyst, you need to know what information is crucial. What must you not left in your questionnaire? What must you collect in your survey? What must you need in, in your analysis? So there are things that you should take note on that it will help you to do that. So this removing of duplicate is a very, very something that you need to understand. You need to learn how to do it. You know, you need to kind of uh, know ways of doing it. It all depends on the data that you have. It depends on the data at your hand. So please don't just think you today you learn how to remove duplicate. 
you go ahead and just continue removing duplicates. Anyhow, if you remove duplicate under a variable that you don't need to remove duplicate there, then definitely you are messing up the data and you are making a big mistake. And that mistake can cost you a lot. Because as a data analyst, one single report that you give is something that can tarnish your entire career or your entire image. Because one single mistake you can make is something that can cause a lot of damages. It's something that can cost a lot of money and it will cause a lot of damages. It will cause a lot of jam damages to a particular organization or particular company. So you need to be very, very, very careful about what you are doing. That's why there is a week, of course, we will talk about, we, we have a class that will talk about data ethics. There are ethical conducts that as a data analyst, you need to have them. You need to know how to work with sort a lot of things. You will learn all that. So I think uh, after saying all this, uh, I know, oh, I think you all know how to use, uh, you know, remove duplicate, you know how to remove duplicate. So please try as much as you can to use your brain while removing duplicate because uh, even sometimes when you remove duplicate based on ID, you compare it with other variables to see that are they the same? Are they the same information? If you find out, oh, yeah, all of them are the same, then definitely, yeah, you can just remove the duplicate based on the primary key that you have of unique ID. But sometimes I told you, as you can see in this data, the price change. So that means this particular person come back here. So it can happen sometimes. This particular person, rent, uh, he has, he did separate services. He paid for a lot of things, not only one thing. But if, for example, it, the data is what it was given to you and it, it, you were told that this data has to do with single, single information of a particular user, then definitely... That particular ID, if you remove it, definitely you don't need any other information because you are only restricted to unique unique value of what? Unique value of that particular user. So this is a way of removing duplicate. This is the procedure of removing duplicate in this. If you are not, you are not using uh, Excel 365, there is a formula to do that. With that formula is derived from SQL, that is structured query language. There is a unique command unique command now they embed it inside um you know uh uh excel 365 that is unique so when we when we apply unique it removes duplicate from the data and that way when you use unique inside um you know sql inside sql query you pass unique it to remove any duplicate for you and return unique value uh to you i have a video on that on my youtube you can watch the unique uh, you know command in sql maybe you can learn something but don't worry about that maybe in the upcoming weeks or months maybe we'll talk about sql maybe after this boot camp i don't know but um i'm just telling you this so there is no formula in excel 2019 that's what i'm using but after excel 2019 they just go back to excel uh you know um uh 365 so in that excel 365 you can use unique uh formula and or unique function to remove duplicate yeah it, you can add uh, together separate columns you can compare separate column using that duplicate function in unique. Yeah, you can use that comfort. You can use that in 365. So Excel 365 is paid. So if you can pay them, go there and pay them a subscription, you subscribe, then you can use it. Because it has a lot of functions. There are lots of functions that we cannot use them here, but you can we can use them there in uh, uh, Excel uh, 365. Uh, there are lots of that uh, function. Lots of that function. Even some tools related to add-ins, tools, and other things related to Excel. There are lots of functions that are uh, that will make your work very, very easy. But they are there in 365. They are not here in uh, the Excel that we are working with. So if you have any question, you can ask. I think this is where we are going to call it a, a day. Okay, so 365 is free. So anyone that needs 365 can use this command shaped windows plus uh, and use uh, Excel 365. So Abaka SD, I don't know where you found Excel 365 to be for free. But I don't know, maybe it's free. I'm not going to argue or challenge you. Maybe it's, it's free. It's just check. Yeah, 
I know they give pre version for students and you know educators. Yeah, I know that. So you can use it, but uh, don't worry. I'm not even recommending you to use it because at the end it will stop something. Because it because of only one function you will go there. Just use what you have here. You will, uh, just kind of uh, you know doing software yourself. But if you need it, just you can install it. But me, I'm not using it seriously. Not using it. Tomorrow, assignment will end tomorrow. Check the, check the information that I sent in the mail. 7 p.m. tomorrow. That's what we said. 7 p.m. tomorrow. By 7 p.m. That's the deadline for uh, submission of assignment. 7 p.m. tomorrow, Tuesday. Tuesday, tomorrow, Tuesday. I don't know. I think your tomorrow is already due. It's due. Your tomorrow, Musa, is due. So in your country, I think it's past 12 now. So it's today. <laughs> you are today, not our today. You are today. Yeah. So you are today. You're, okay, happy is you too. So you are today. The assignment will end your today. Yeah. You are today. So I think you don't have any question because I can't see any in the chats. So I think maybe we can call it a day. I will just match the videos together, but it will be a while. Maybe tomorrow I'll drop it or maybe in the night because I'm working on something. So when I'm done, I will match the two videos for you so that you can watch what uh, what we have done. I don't think you have any question. Please, if you have any question, you can raise your hand. If you don't, maybe I think we can call it a day. No questions, right? No question. Yeah, thank you, sir. So no question, energy. So yeah. Okay. So I can see no questions. So I will draw. No, I said that why we did this second one. I will remove that part. Then I will attach that part with this part. So you don't need any audio. I will remove this part and attach it with that part that we uh, uh, YouTube will remove. So I will match it with this that we did. So that is, uh, it will kind of cover what we did. Yeah, you will see the introductory part now. I will put the introductory part. It's just where the privacy of people, we don't want to expose the privacy of people. That's where I will cut and merge it with this. The introductory part will be available to everyone. You will see that. So please take care. Have a wonderful dream. Good night. Good night, sir. Thank you so much.